Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Have you ever had a major job change? My husband has had three completely different careers. He started out as a Christian counselor. Later, he became a manager at a Lifeway Christian store. Now he works for the Florida Department of Education. Each time God has led him to something different, he's had to redefine himself and his skills to match the new job. The number of career changes an average person has in their lifetime changes from generation to generation, but it's getting to be a pretty popular thing to do. Getting completely redefined, however, is up to God. No matter how many times a person changes jobs or redefines their skills or even changes their appearance, they're still the same old sinner. Only God can truly change a person and completely redefine them. Just think of how he's done this in the past. He took a group of slaves and made them into a nation of his own special people. He took a shepherd boy, David, and made him into one of the most memorable kings in history. He took a fearful farmer, Gideon, and made him into a bold warrior. In our passage today, Matthew 4, 18-22, Jesus is walking by the Sea of Galilee and sees Simon Peter and Andrew, brothers, fishermen. And this is what he said, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Jesus gives them an opportunity to be completely redefined. They were already fishermen, but he wanted to make them into something completely different. Did they have any idea of what that meant? Of course, from our vantage point, we know Jesus meant that he would make them into strong men of God who would bring other people to God's kingdom. But they didn't fully understand this. In fact, after the resurrection, they tried to go back to fishing. That was what they knew. But Jesus had to meet them again by the shores of the Sea of Galilee and redirect them. He had changed them as well as the whole course of their lives. They couldn't go back. It wouldn't be the same. Because they weren't the same. Doesn't Jesus do the same with us? As he did to the disciples, he offers us a chance to be completely redefined. Then he changes us from the inside out and will never be the same again, nor would we want to be. In Matthew 4, Peter and Andrew, then James and John, responded to Jesus' call and got redefined by dropping everything and following him. Later, Matthew would do the same thing. They wanted Jesus to redefine them from sinner to a disciple. Has Jesus redefined you? He offers to take you from being a sinner to a son or daughter of the king. Wow, what a change. How have you responded? If he's already changed you, how can you be a fisher of men to those in your sphere of influence? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to share a treasure God has given you by doing an episode, please contact us. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you'll find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Thank you.